So I'm Claudia Ignoré and I had the chance uh, to have two uh, space missions. The first one was in 1996 uh, on board the Mir station, the old Soviet station, and the second one in 2001 on board the International Space Station. Uh, I would say that there is a, a very intense feeling on the dynamic phases of the flight. When you are on the top of the rocket and you are waiting for this very moment of the launch, so even if you are very well trained, with simulators, preparation, training of uh, different kinds, you will discover something completely new when uh, through this 8 minutes 45 seconds with the propulsion, you are injected in orbit and you are in microgravity and you are a complete different environment. So uh, I would say that this feeling of the physical phases of the, the mission was something very interesting to discover and to, uh, to feel, really. There's few female astronauts. We are just 10 persons, female astronauts. But I would say also that we are just 10 persons applicants. So that means there is not so much women willing to enter in this career. So 10 persons applicants means 10 persons selected then. Uh, now, when you are designed for a mission, uh, affected to the mission, you are really trained in a crew with men, women, not just this diversity of gender, diversity of uh, culture, Russian, American, European, diversity of background, military, civil, pilot, medical doctors, researchers, and uh, the objective is the success of the mission. So I think I was well trained to be part of the success, women or not women. Uh, I would like to say that uh, uh, they have a great chance to be in a very uh, interesting uh, field and domain, that they need to work hard to be good engineers, but they have also to be good human beings, good people, and that means open, curious, and Training is one part of their life, but being an engineer, that means also being a good human being.